Tana Amaga's bold plan to end madness and drag blues out of cycle of mediocrity. Don't look now, but Tana Amaga is shaking things up at the blues as New Zealand's problem super rugby franchise seeks to finally break out of the cycle of mediocrity that has gripped it over the last half dozen years, or more. Amaga is starting year three of his tenure at the once mighty Auckland-based outfit and it is fair to say the first two have not produced the desired results. The former All Blacks captain was brought in to turn things round, but so far has managed just more of the same, albeit with a win column nudging in the right direction. Since their last semi-final appearance in 2011, the Blues have finished 12th, 10th, 10th, 14th, 11th and 9th in 2017. Over that time, their record has reflected an organization going nowhere fast, they were 4-12 in 2012, 6-10 the next year, 7-9 in 2014, 3-13 in 15 and under Amaga have improved marginally to 8-16 in 2016 and 7-17 last season. They have been the Kiwi Conference cellar dwellers in all but one of those last six seasons and have been left in the dust by the other New Zealand franchises who have lifted their collective game noticeably. Clearly, Amaga has decided enough is enough and is ready to introduce some fundamental change at the underachieving franchise which always has a fair smattering of talent, but seldom the collective new, team culture, discipline and game smarts to turn it into tangible results. Amaga has already made two bold preseason calls in reshaping his setup for 2018. Fiery halfback Augustine Palu has been unveiled as a surprise captain and the unproven yet exciting Benefiki installed as new scrum coach. Both appointments have an element of risk, but also considerable potential upside. They indicate that Amaga is finally ready to shake things up at an organization that has been treading water for too long now. Palu is not exactly your prototype captain. He plays with a fire and a passion and Amaga admits he is looking for those attributes to rub off on his teammates, and for the responsibility to also rein in some of the looser elements of his halfbacks game. Anyone of Jerome K. I know, James Parsons, Patty Tuipolota or even Sonny Bill Williams might have been safer options, but Amaga has made the appointment he believes he needed to make. In announcing Palu's appointment, he said the decision had been unanimous out of a thorough review process. He also made the stelling comment, We want to get better, there is no doubt about it, and if we keep thinking about doing the same thing over and over, and thinking we're going to get a different result, it doesn't happen that way. The Blues coach had, of course, just described the definition of madness, repeating the same mistake over and over and expecting a different outcome. Blues critics would suggest the franchise has been guilty of that for a long time now. Where has the world-class no ten been that everyone acknowledges is the key for any championship contender? Where is the tight, team-first culture that now pervades at the Highlanders, Hurricanes, and Chiefs, and always has at the Crusaders? We're not far off, Amaga declares. A real focus is winning those critical moments and to understand what those look like, and where they are. We're pushing all our resource to make sure we understand those. I think physically we compare with every other team. Just in those moments when the game is in the balance it's our decision-making process we've got to be working on. Afiki is a bold call at scrum coach, too. He's young, just 29, and is light on top-level experience with just a couple of years with North Harbour under his belt. But he's a recent player, his career was ended prematurely by concussion, is motivated, has a strong connection to the players and he has been part of a successful culture at the Chiefs. The shake-up doesn't stop there either. Dave Ellis is taking over the back attack, alongside Steve Jackson, forwards, and Alistair Rogers, defence leaving Amaga to assume the bigger picture responsibilities. Look for him to drive key improvements in culture, leadership, decision-making and accountability. And for Palu to be his coach's voice on the field. The Blues have talent. Enrico and Akira Ian, Williams, Ofatu and Gafasi, 
To Ipilotu and Matt Duffy they have a world-class core, with plenty of young promise and experienced heads around them. It is translating that talent into wins that has proven problematic. Amaga is at least trying to break that cycle of madness.